What the Catholic Church has been waiting for for the past few weeks happened today at the Vatican, the apostolic meeting between Pope Francis and the leaders of the USCCB. Thank you so much for receiving us today. This is how the meeting began with the leaders of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops with the Pope. Also in attendance was Cardinal Sean O'Malley, head of the Vatican Commission for the Protection of Minors. There were two sensitive issues discussed. First was the Pennsylvania Attorney General's report on abuse that was published in August. It details that over 70 years, more than 300 priests had abused around 1,000 children. Some bishops have reflected on their own responsibilities since perhaps they do not know correctly how to respond to complaints by victims. Now the president of the conference has asked the Pope to order an internal investigation to find out how this could have happened. The other big concern was the report of the former Nunzio in Washington, Carlo Maria Viganò, who asked for the Pope to resign for supposedly not having taken measures against Theodore Macaric. Pope Francis suspended Macaric from the Cardinalate in July when he learned that he had abused minors for decades. Viganò says everyone knew that the former Cardinal had behaved improperly and abused seminarians, and nobody, including himself, did anything. The letter accuses the Vatican of allowing homosexual networks in the North American church, and some bishops from the country have asked the Vatican to clarify these accusations. For the moment, the Pope has taken an unprecedented step. He summoned all the presidents from Episcopal conferences around the world to a summit in the Vatican to discuss the protection of minors. It will be interesting to see the results and measures that will be put into place as investigations and findings continue to be revealed throughout the United States. At the Vatican, Melissa Butts, Currents News.